Welcome back and on to another debate and that's caused quite a furor and uh, questions on whether or not Hindu Astha is being taken for granted and should states control te uh, temple boards or Devaswams. The matter pertaining to the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam under which comes the Balaji Temple in uh, Tirumala in Tirupati. The issue was that the TTT board wanted to auction off about uh, 50 of its immovable properties. 26 of these properties were in Tamil Nadu, 24 uh, uh, sorry, 26 in Andhra Pradesh, 23 in Tamil Nadu and about one parcel of land in Rishikesh. A total worth of what the estimates are of about 24 crore, but the TTD says that the base price of the auction was about 1.53 crore. So, the argument is at, at this point there is no auction, the auction has been held back, but the argument and the questions being asked is why is there an attempt to use the properties and endowments on the temple boards and why are their properties being used to fill up state coffers and of course personal profiteering. We have the TTD chairman joining us at this point. Let me first ask you this entire controversy around uh, temple land being sold off by the board and a political motive uh, attached to it. Yeah, correct. See, this is a practice in Tirumal Tirupati Devasana for the last 20-25 years. From 1974 to 2014, they have auctioned about 129 properties. These properties are gifted by the devotees in the name of Lord Vimiteshwara. These properties we are not supposed to sell actually, but where the question of selling is arising because of the some of the properties, where it uh, area of the property, two cents, three cents, house sites, old houses, some commercial places, situated in remote places, villages, those mm. properties, they have some of, some of the properties uh, are donated by the devotees. Those properties, they are identified by the earlier government appointed board during mm. 2016, they have identified and they have listed those properties. They have clearly marked these properties are unviable and not maintainable. So you are saying that no decision, final decision has been taken yet? Um, our Chief Minister has, uh, I have discussed with Chief Minister what is happening, all these things, then immediately he has issued orders not to go ahead with the earlier board decision. Let us keep that in abeyance and not to go ahead further action of properties and and at the same time without affecting the sentiments of the uh, uh, people who have donated the properties to the Lord Vagateshwara, try to protect them and if necessary you seek the advice of the devotees. Don't you think that temple board should be allowed to function under the temple managers and, and the devotees and, and those who are running the temple devasthanams. Why should it, there be political involvement? Is there going to be a th uh, you know thought uh, between uh, in this current disposition? Because uh, I appreciate and, and I think a lot of the devotees have welcomed the move by Mr. Jagan Reddy that he said let's yes. put things in, uh, in hold and let us let the seers decide what needs to be done with this land and we'll act accordingly. But should yeah. the influence of the state also be now moved away uh, and reduced as far as the functioning of temple devasthanams are concerned, temple boards are concerned. Yeah, yeah, as of now, there is no direct involvement of government in day-to-day -day activities that I have already mentioned to you, Arunji. But only yeah. in case of this controversy issue, yes, in this situation, government and Honorable Chief Minister has reacted positively. It's a good decision. We are, we, are, we are also appreciating that. We are not interested in selling the properties of uh, 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 properties of um, Lord Balaji given, right. donations given by devotees. But immense issue has become the controversy. And they are here in media, in Andhra Pradesh, you know, some media people are targeting us, especially Jagan Reddy and Jagan Reddy relations and families people. Hmm. That's why they are targeting me here also. They have started uh, creating the impression that uh, um, uh, Andhra Chief Minister is encouraging selling of uh, TTD properties. That's not correct. They are not involving in day-to-day -day activities that, that I have been telling. Right. Only in case of this, when things are going beyond this thing, government issued a GO yesterday. Right. Uh, Cancelling the earlier board decision, keeping it in abeyance. Yeah. Point taken, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for taking the time out to speak to me. Thank you, Thank you Thank sir. You.
Jo joining us now, joining us now is the former Union Civil Aviation Minister, but also somebody who was the former chair of the Simhachalam Trust. He belongs to the Vijayanagaram royal family. Mr. Ashok Gajapati Raju, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Raju, let me, I, I want to understand from you the larger aspect of this management of temple trusts, be it the TTD or the Simhachalam, which is the second largest temple trust in, uh, if you look at the Telugu states. And, and what is happening? Is there, a, is there a political tug of war going on? Because there's a huge furore on questions being raised about temple properties being sold off, being taken control of. You see, you, if you the past few months, the way endowments has been handled in Andhra Pradesh leaves much to be desired. That is one angle. If you look at it, the very appointments of the trust boards, nine major temples. Now, earlier the procedure was whenever the government of the day wanted to appoint trustees, they used to make their intention known and then those who were interested in serving the various trusts would apply for it. They would be or uh, an identification of sorts and some sort of this thing on the lines of a passport inquiry. So that the antecedents of the people are known. This has been given a bypass for nine major temples in Andhra Pradesh, which has resulted in a lot of problems. That is one angle. The second angle is the transparency and focus as far as properties are concerned. All these endowments are done by people who want to endow for causes dear to their heart, whether it is charitable, whether it is religious. These endowments actually are not government property. They are properties of different people who under the Indian constitution can donate or can uh, formulate mm. trust in perpetuity, which will work for those causes which are dear to their heart. Now, the endowments department is to regulate it. Now, recently, even properties belonging to various endowments, whether religious or charitable, they are being, uh, they were managed by the endowments department, which had a focus on endowments, various things happening by various people. Now, the focus there has gone. There's a, this thing that they move the property management to the revenue department. And revenue department has a lot of other things involved. So much so there's no focus. Now each property is donated or uh, endowed for a particular purpose. I'll just give you an example. In 1954, in my own town, Vijayanagaram, there was a property endowed and to give it to the management of the Simachalam Devasthanam to feed students on a regular basis here. Since 1954, this activity has been going on. Various strengths of students changed over the years. And recently, when I was uh, kind of, you can see, the victim of that midnight coup that happened, there were 450 mm. students studying, eating there and studying. So this is the situation. Now, if the lands of that are taken away and or the incomes of that properties do not come here, the students who are fed there, they suffer. So right. the, the person who endowed it, endowed it to feed students, poor students, and to see that they study. Now, right. if we deprive them, in any form, it is incorrect. How is the approach different between the previous disposition that is under uh, the TDP, when they decided to say auction a few uh, land parcels, the decision was taken in 2016 on the 30th of January. You see, and to... why is it different in terms of the intent and what is the allegation? That's what I told you also in the beginning. Suddenly hmm. from somewhere, overnight without inquiry on nine major temples in the uh, yeah. state of Andhra Pradesh, you bring people, naturally, that is one thing that people get perturbed about. 
the second hmm. thing is that the management focus endowments department right. focuses on endowed property only nothing else they charge Correct. every year all endowments whether charitable or religious have to pay a certain percentage to run the endowments department this is not the government uh, government money there do you understand what i'm trying to say i got i get it i understand so, i understand so, so the aims and objects of the uh, each uh, this thing endowment become very important now by putting it into say revenue for instance which has been done in andhra pradesh what happens the joint collector or additional joint collector in any collectorate in andhra pradesh has how many duties now this is one more Correct. duty added there it is not the focus are you planning to move court uh against these uh, appointments and the way things have been gone uh, you know, the current disposition is going about so those who want to move any recourse they are most welcome to move it in the constitution of india permits this activity in fact it is to be encouraged yes because people who have the capability of endowing are not endowing because of the uncertainties so we have to look at it in that way now wherever right. like uh, there is uh, property there is money there is good and there is bad now how do yeah. we promote the good and not allow the bad to overtake here our problem is we are not we are removing transparency of every kind that has happened in Point the taken. state now when you reduce transparency what happens chances of dishonesty increase so if there is an if there is an act of dishonesty with the running of a temple board should the state take control only for about 2 or 3 years set the management right and give it back to the boards is it time to rid temples of state control that's the straight forward question because we eat whichever disposition they just seem to be wanting to take control of the coffers of the temple devasthanam so this is an argument that we've had and we've been trying to ask multiple uh, states and their dispositions because irrespective of which political party comes to power this seems to be the case let's go across and debate this what is happening in the telugu states and especially with the control of two of the richest temple bodies in the in the country and namely the tirumala tirupati devasthanam which is perhaps arguably the richest temple body ragu ramakrishna raju ysrcp mp with us gvl narsimha rao bjp mp and uh, 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 in the rajya sabha also with us national spokesperson of the bjp anurag naidu political analyst and patavi ram komaredi he is a tdp spokesperson is also joining us this evening let's let's first understand from uh, gvl narsimha rao gvl where do you stand what do you think is happening why make a big uh, hoo ha or noise about the auction of 50 properties which the ttd says is something which was approved back in 2016 yeah anand uh, first of all let me pay my obeisance to lord venkateshwara a, a crores of his devotees lords devotees are really outraged by the proposition that the ttd wants to sell uh land donated to the to the deity by its devotees it's a it's a very outrageous proposition this was you are right the ttd made such a proposal in 2016 it passed a resolution uh, but the bjp there was a bjp participation in the tdp government our own minister in that government mr manikyal rao he was the endowments minister and he he got this proposal negated it did not go through because of the bjp's i can you hear me anand yes i can yes i can go ahead yeah yeah so 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 therefore it was the bjp's participation in the government our own minister blocked it from going further but the ycp government which has reversed several decisions of the tdp government in the past is now taking recourse to uh, relating it to the tdp decision why on earth should you really do something that the tdp wanted to do the tdp the the tirumala tirupati trust board under the tdp did make such a proposal but why does this government want to pursue it 
they thought this could get passed easily and possibly mm. they would have brought many other lands under its uh, un under the uh, un under sale option so therefore our protest today is is mm. to really demand that all temple lands all temple properties in the state of andhra pradesh which are currently under the government of control government should assure people that not a single piece of land will be sold and we want the government also to nullify a 2002 uh, government order which the then chandra babu naidu government brought which actually facilitated the state governments to sell off properties owned by the or gifted to the to the temples on the pretext that but, these but temples are unviable but it is a very same chandra babu naidu with whom you were in government with and now you have parted ways no which, no 2002 we were not in government process we were not in no no anand i'll no, no, let me correct you in 2002 we were not in government i mean 2016 you were not in government we prevented agree in 2016 uh, we prevented yeah but but in 2000 but when you were in government when you were in government with the tdp between 2016 and 2018 19 even at that point in time you did not tell them to uh, change the change the law or amend the law which was made in 2002 jvi yes. that's the criticism right. no, coming but, against the bjp another there aspect another uh, no no there there are there is serious doubt about the intent of the government they are also planning to sell government lands because because the government says we are short of money therefore at a time like this it would do a lot of good to the state government if they were to if they were to bring about an ordinance or a law or even even reverse the gvo of 2002 Giving let 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 Raghu Ramakrishna Raju respond. Let the deity. This is not a property of the government. We want them to let, recognize that fact. Correct. But but the, but the fact is that uh, the the you heard the TTD chairman Mr. Subbaradi also say the fact that this is uh, there have been 134 auctions of the, the properties under TTD uh, over the last uh, many decades. It's been happening yes. regularly. It's been happening. So when somebody else does it, it's okay. When it uh, it was no, ratified under okay. the BJP, that Who is what many it? people are saying. There. Are, so i you know sir sir even in tamil nadu this property was supposed to be these were properties in tamil nadu which was supposed to be auctioned nobody made a noise in tamil nadu let let the ysr cp respond ysr cp uh, mr raghu ram krishna raju is with us mr raju how would you respond to this especially the charges yes. that have been made a by the bjp and also by mr ashok gajapati raju that you have done away with the endowment ministry put this under the revenue department Why should temple no, collections actually, only uh, come under the revenue department? Yeah. Are church no, collections no, or actually, are church collections also under revenue department? Are they monitored? Uh, are the wax board collections or or, or uh, collections by under any other religious institution also under revenue department in Andhra Pradesh now? No, no. as you said, uh, none of the church uh, church collections or the uh, masjid collections they have got nothing to do with the. Government, they have their own. Uh, not only in Andhra Pradesh, anywhere in the country, they don't come under anybody's control. Why? 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 Yeah, yeah. Why? Why, no, why is a good question? So, so, so why, why is a good question? That is also core argument. Mr. No? GVL. No, first, Anand, let me answer Mr. GVL. Okay. He has said that in 2014 Go he ahead, did please. agree that uh, I am glad that he has agreed that uh, Mr. Michael Rao is the minister and uh, they are in the government and they had even opposed it, but. it is government has got in a way it has got nothing to do with the ttd board and board is an autonomous body and from the endowments department there is only one representative the commissioner endowments is also part of the board and if the majority of the board has agreed even if the representative of the state government whether the, he supports or opposes it doesn't make any difference the resolution the board resolution has been passed it is not that the board resolution has been stalled Uh, let me correct it the board resolution has been passed mm. but coming to our government or our beloved cm see what has happened in 2016 in a board meeting there they will be having one board meeting every month cm can't be a privy to what has happened in that board meeting uh, and he can't go through the records of everything but yes i do admit that when our government has come and now so in a continuation of that gvo we thought of there was a discussion which i admit that it is incorrect we should not have even thought of using that particular uh, resolution in 2016 jan to sell the uh, temple uh, property which has been graciously uh, donated by some devotee no doubt there were 
instances earlier that doesn't mean that the new government which is committed to the uh, sentiments of the uh, devotees of the lord certainly no if it was indeed committed, committed to, to the sentiments my point is that because yes, there was so, a furor raised that is why jagan mohan reddy had to step in because you no, had a no, meeting the, the ttd board where meeting coming. was held in february no, uh, where uh, where I'm there was there was there is now been there has been there has been an audit and of course a valuation supposed to be undertaken of all properties under ttd especially those which are not being actively used by the ttd and there is a valuation that's been called for and this has been called for by the state the representative who's calling this is 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 somebody who's been put there by the state is a state appointee no there is a political connection no, to it and that's no, the no, argument anurag see. naidu come in please i'll come no, back no, to you no, gentlemen no. one by one let, let everybody make their comments and then i'll come back mr raju i'll come back to you sir i'll come back to you yes anurag and uh, i would i would strongly disagree with honorable mp when he is making this uh, uh, point that uh, there is no political uh, interference in the board running mr subareddy garu is uh, jagan mohan reddy's own uncle is is his uh, mother's wife and is an ex member of parliament of vaisa congress party there are several uh, mlas in the represented in the in the board of the ttd so not only from the vaisa congress party but also from the trs Uh, and also from the other uh, the political uh, uh, affiliation so this is a very stereotyped argument but today the most important point that uh, we have to discuss is what really made that uh, uh, that the board to decide uh, at this point in time just for, uh, for you know approximately 1.3 1.2 lakh but if the interesting point is anand the first notification on 30th of last month when it was delivered by the board to decided that decided to sell the properties the the reversal happened yesterday and this notification was signed by pravin prakash who was the principal secretary to the government uh, who, which put the entire order of ttd in abeyance that means the government is seriously involved in the matter it may not be a micromanaging uh, the board on an everyday matter but yes government is seriously involved there is no point uh, that uh, we, we are saying that it's an independent trust if we really mean that it has to be an independent trust we have to lead by example the previous board had 16 members today there are around 32 members uh with more increased political uh, intervention into the board so i don't think uh, the, the really makes a point anand no but the previous the previous board also as per the ttb mr patabiram if i could come yeah. across to you the ttb also wanted to sell off the same properties so why make such a big noise about it there are there were interferences yeah. which are being done as far as the temple properties are concerned and there were direct allegation being made that mr chandra babu naidu directly wanted to make the entire collections and donations under state control yeah anand here i would like so, to make so one thing every political clear. party is eyeing the money and the coffers no 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 see telugu desam party never initiated any process to sell the land belonging to ttd see when there was a sub committee which recommended uh, for the disposal of these lands under uh, ttd the sub committee also had uh, mr banu prakash reddy who was a bjp member mr gvl should remember that but the telugu desam government did not accept the sub committee's recommendations and they did not initiate any process proceeding for the sale of these lands but the question here is today why the ysr congress is party it? government yes 2016 though the sub committee made a recommendation hmm. mr gvl himself had said that uh, his endowment minister mr manikal rao he is a part of our government the cabinet was headed by mr chandra babu naidu he was the chief minister he did not initiate any proceeding though the sub committee had a bjp member which recommended we did not initiate uh, that process but it is the ysrcp you... government today which had initiated the Doctor... process here you should also one second anand here you should also remember that right from the moment hmm. mr jagan mohan reddy became chief minister he started attacking temples I could tell you that there is one circular which was really released in July 2019 by the YSRCP government asking all district collectors to take over temple land for distributing those temple lands uh, uh, to to the landless poor why should they take temple land if you want to distribute uh, lands to the landless poor you have many other lands belonging to the government why did you release a special circular to all the district collectors to take over the temple lands and the second thing is few months back So so so, so 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 if the ttb T, ddp wanted to take control of all the donations coming in and passed an act because of no, which no, no. dr subramanian swami actually moved court against a move like that 
the tdp at that point in time wanted to control the coffers of the td of, of the tirumala tirupati devasthanam now I, I spoke to dr swami earlier in the evening and he holds the bjp and the tdp also guilty because he was saying that this is what was a resolution that was passed the deal the the, the point that this deal uh, uh, to to auction these properties 50 of them in number this was taken by the collective decision of the board is what dr swami said let's just quickly listen into that and then i'll come back to our panelists Well, it's clearly the Telugu Desam, and I'm sorry to say the BJP has been tagged along. Official uh, release of the minutes of the subcommittee meeting held on 29-1-2016 at Sri Parma Padmavati Guest House. And in that, the TDP was then in power, BJP was in alliance, and they had constituted a subcommittee uh, and what did it say? The TTD board in its resolution number 84 of 28 uh, July 2015 has constituted a subcommittee with the following members to examine the feasibility of disposing of the list of identified properties which are unviable and not maintainable by TTD through public auction. So this decision for a public auction is because the TTD could not A, maintain and it was not viable because these parcels were small, far flung and even though they were endowed with the TTD GVL Narasimha Rao, it, the board was not in a position to maintain and utilize them. They said let's sure. dispose it off. The numbers are between 1.5 crore to 24 crore in terms of the action, auction number. How big is this number? So if there no, was an auction an, plan, an, 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 this was planned an, with some thought in mind. So can Anand. we shift the politics out? Had it not been for Netas, had it been left to the temple seers and the temple priests and the temple devastanam without any political involvement, would then would it, would then the auction have been a problem? Let me ask so you this. First of all, first of all, the idea of an auction is completely unacceptable because when a devotee makes a donation, hmm. if you don't think such such donations are not viable, you cannot maintain temple lands. Then do not even accept donation. You take donation, you deceive the devotee, subsequently you record that this is not viable and then you want to auction it. And this is actually nothing but deceiving the devotee. I think I, I, this is unacceptable. Sonia Congress, the Telugu mm. Party, now the YCP, they are all in the same boat. They want to do vote bank politics. I want to ask both the panelists of, of both the parties. Can they bring churches and, Mus and, and mm. the mosques in the state of Andhra Pradesh? Uh, into the control of the government of Andhra Pradesh? Would they, would they, if they are not accepting that idea, how on earth would they want to sell the property of the lands, property of the of the of the temple trust? I no, want, but then even you are also not advocating. Saying, you are no, also no, not advocating demand, that temples. No, I am saying. I am saying. No, no. One, one second. The, why aren't you saying? Tamil Nadu government recently. Tamil yeah, Nadu government yeah. wanted temples to donate ten crores each. To the to the chief minister's relief fund, they 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 demanded the temple trust to donate that money. The high court quashed that idea. The Chennai high court. Hmm. So I want to ask the same government in the Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu, and the TDP. Would you ever dare ask the church to to donate compulsory to the state chief minister's fund? Would you dare to sell away the property of the churches in the state of Andhra Pradesh or in the state of... My Canada? point is, would you dare to turn around and tell all state governments to relinquish control over temple boards? Yes. I Just like churches and mosques are not directly under I, state control, that, will they do it? Will will all state governments do it? Let me ask I, YSRCP. I asked this question of Mr. Subaradi also. I asked this question of YSR Super, uh, uh, you know, YV Subaradi also, uh, who is the TTD chairman. So why don't you they say that, okay... The temples, let the temples run under the uh, ages of those people who are managing. We will not have any political interference. Why is there a BJP member as part of the TDD board? Why is there a YRCS, YSRCP family members as the chairman, uh, chairperson of the TDD board? Why is there a political interference in the first place? These are all questions which we've been asking for long. I have to wind up for the moment. We will take this debate forward because it's not just Andhra Pradesh. Across the country, it just seems like it's only temples because of their